No, a doctor, correct me if I'm wrong. So this a neonatal sepsis can happen in a baby that so far has been healthy and this develops? Yeah, so I mean, there, there are two uh, main categories of um, uh, sepsis that we um, um, uh, look into. First of all is the um, early onset sepsis, okay. which happens between, uh, from birth until up to seven days uh, mm -hmm. uh, of life. Uh, some experts say that uh, early onset sepsis could be only within the first 72 hours. So there's a difference in um, definition. Uh, so this one happens at birth. Right. Um, and usually these babies are uh, those in, uh, that are diagnosed while they are in their birth stay initially. So within the first 24 to 48 hours, they start developing symptoms mm -hmm. and we're able to uh, diagnose them then. Wow. Their late onset sepsis um, is what we, um, when we have symptoms after seven days of uh, life. Uh, is there one that's more common than the other or? No, I mean, okay. it's, uh, it depends when they're uh, presenting and we'll talk about the etiologies and, right. and uh, how each one develops. But, but Dr. Dardis, is it true if you are diagnosed with neonatal sepsis, you have to go straight into the NICU? Yes, absolutely, you're very right. So once we have any signs or symptoms that are uh, suggestive of an infection, we immediately have to admit the babies to the neonatal intensive care unit. And there, uh, the babies would have to undergo um, uh, labs and mm -hmm. that we were gonna talk about, like diagnostic evaluation. Right. And then uh, we initiate treatment. Uh, we cannot um, wait until we get mm -hmm. the labs back or the cultures back to initiate treatment because um, time is very sensitive right. and a delay in treatment could be very detrimental to those babies.